Hi Kirby fans, so today what we're going to be doing is looking at the main reasons to buy an Avalia in 2020. So let's jump to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you haven't already, make sure you check out the other videos and if you find you're getting value from this content, contemplate slapping that subscribe button, dinging that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up and make sure you comment down below. I will reply to the comments as I always do. And if you like what you comment, hop into the video. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is a bit of a demonstration of the uses of the Kirby and the reasons why I suggest you invest, if you haven't already, in an Avalia in 2020. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Right, so if you're like me, I'm a big pet lover. But my pet hate is... I'll just grab some. She's not letting me... <laughs> is not the love. But the hairs, the hairs are an absolute nightmare. <laughs> the love you get off your pet is, is probably one of the best things in the world. Um, it's unconditional and things like that. But it comes with a cost, and the cost is one: you've got to go, you've got to go out and pick up that dog poo. She's after her treats. <laughs> and two, here you go. You've got the hairs. The hairs absolutely do my head in. If I had hair, I'd be ripping it out because of the amount of hairs that are over the floor. So every day, I have to constantly vacuum and get all these hairs up. Now, if I had a Dyson or a Vax or anything like that, it'd still be an absolute nightmare. If you've got is your hair, hairs got over your carpets, over your couch, in your clothes, just everywhere. So you need to keep on top of those. And I find the best way to do it is with a Kirby. I've had my Kirby 25 years, and I highly recommend it. I'll quickly zoom in when the dogs stop playing um, I'll zoom in and quickly show you the state of the carpet just after one night of her actually just walking around it's the middle of winter here but because we've got to have constantly have the heating on she's molting but there's no tomorrow so what we'll do is we'll jump straight to it so this is just one night of Kira And she's got a lot of love, but the hairs are just absolutely horrendous. Now this is her dog bed, and it's absolutely full of them. Okay. So as you can see from the clips of the carpet and a bed, it's like a continental quilt covered, it's just covered in hairs. So what we're going to do, I'm going to be using the Avalia 1 uh, for this. So whether you buy an Avalia 1 or Avalia 2, it doesn't make any difference. They're exactly the same machine. I highly recommend them just for the hair pickup alone. It's just absolutely amazing and it always has been. That was one of the main reasons we bought a Kirby, purely for this reason, because we've had German Shepherds for as long as we've had a Kirby. What I'll do is I'll quickly zoom in and show you the agitation from the Kirby Avalia and the weight picks up these hairs with ease. Um, so you haven't got to suffer the hairs everywhere. You can walk around barefoot because you've got a Kirby. Um, so you haven't got to worry about weaving into your feet. And you're not going to have that dog smell in your house because you're vacuuming with your Kirby every other day or every day. In my, in my situation, it's every day. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight to it. All right, so headphone users turn them down. Your belt, my belt's wound on, so I'm going to turn it on and knock it down three clicks. The dog wants to start in the video. She's always attacking me when I've got the vacuum out. You'll see why in the next part. So here we go.
as you can see from the state of the mat to begin with, the agitation from the other area is just astounding and you're going to get all those dog hairs up with ease and it's literally one pass. I mean you've seen the amount of hairs that actually come off Kira just over 12 hours. So it's, it's quite amazing. Um, and like I said, this is one of the main reasons we invested in a Kirby. Obviously I used to work for Kirby anyway and I've seen what they could do back in the 80s when my mum bought one. But this was one of the main reasons for buying a Kirby purely for the agitation and the pickup of dog hairs with ease. So I'll quickly show you now the next tool I'm going to use just to vacuum the dog's bed. And uh, again, it's a great investment and I'll put a link below of where you can actually get one from if you haven't got one. But it's a great investment and upgrade onto your Kirby vacuum. Next up, we're going to be vacuuming it with the turbo tool, which is the zip brush. Now I have got a video and I will put an eye card on the correct way to use this zip brush. I'm not going to explain it in this video, but there is an eye card above. So make sure you click on that at the end of the video so you can see how to use your zip brush correctly. So what we'll do is we'll just zoom in and you can see how the zip brush actually works and the agitation that actually brings to the bed to get all those hairs off. Right, so headphone users turn them down. This is going to be quite loud. So as you can see from that, it's literally a two minute job to get all those hairs out. If you notice, as I was going, I was backing off the hairs because with having a long haired German Shepherd, it's gonna clog up your zip brush. So just back it out as you go. Um, obviously, when you get, I was stopping it with my finger, just be careful because it does hurt if you push it in too fast. So what we'll do now is we'll jump over to the final tool that I'm gonna be using, and you might enjoy this one, the dog seems to. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. So it's the next tool, and as if by magic, the dog appears. <laughs> now, she's giving me a kiss because she wants me to vacuum that. Um, this is obviously uh, what they class as a head massager or a pet groomer. Um, mm. When I was demonstrating for Kirby, I used it quite a lot during the demonstration, so hence that's why I've got no hair left. Um, so <laughs> don't use it on your head. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get to vacuum the dog.
right, so I've given the dog a bit of a vacuum. As you can see, she absolutely loves it. Some pets won't. Don't try it on the cat. I tried it on my mum's cat once, it bolted. So don't try it on the cat. So if you've got a dog that likes the vacuum, is always hanging around when you're using the vacuum, then I would try to use the pet groomer on them because um, they tend to like it. It's a bit like a massage for them and it'll actually aerate their skin as well and get all the hairs out. Obviously, if they've got any mites, it's going to suck those out as well. So that's one other thing for using your Kirby vacuum for. For us, I hope that video was really informative and I hope for some of you that are contemplating whether to get a Kirby, whether you bought a Kirby and not sure if you made the right decision, you have. Um, especially for picking up dog hairs alone, it's just an amazing piece of kit. And Kirby been going for over 100 years, that's why I was using the 100th edition. So if you're getting value out of this content and you haven't already, then just contemplate slapping that subscribe button to support the channel, ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes, give us a big thumbs up, it helps promote the channel and comment down below. I'll really reply to the comments, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what I'll do, as I normally do, I'll give a shout out to all my new subscribers, and at the end of the video, there will be the bloopers. I don't know how many there is in this video. I'll put the bloopers at the end, people seem to like them. Big shout out, a big thanks to everyone who's for the continual support as well. It's much, much appreciated. And don't forget, we've got that G6 that's been given away once I hit 1,000 subscribers, the next question's coming up at 500 subscribers. I think we're on about 481 at the moment. So if you haven't already, subscribe so you can get into that competition. As soon as you hit 1,000 subscribers, it will be the first five people to comment down below with the correct answer to that question that will go into the draw and will be drawn at 1,000 subscribers. So let's get to 500 this weekend. Um, it must be appreciated. We'll cut to the chase and I'll just give a shout out to all the new subscribers. Um, I've been through quite a few channels and to see what people have got on there. Obviously some people have unsubscribed. So I'll just give a shout out to the people I can see that are subscribed. If your subscriptions are hidden, I can't see, so I don't know if you subscribe to me. You're not gonna pop up in my Gmails. First up, I'll go for Michael Della, Della Monica. Thanks for subscribing. I've got a Purpose Driven. Um, Kevin's got his own channel. Um, he used to be a basketball coach. He's doing his own thing. Um, supporting youngsters so make sure you check out his channel he's got some great stuff on there um, he's just supporting his community and a lot of young kids and letting them find their, their purpose in life through basketball um, I've got a Justin Barrick Justin's got um, a few subscribers if you like PS4 which I do I've subscribed to him um, he's got some PS4 videos on there um, so make sure you check that channel out if you're into PS4s um, I've got an Arely Lozano I think Hope I pronounced that right. I've got a Peter Leeson, so thanks again. I've got a Jim Colleen. I've got a Gretchen Fewell. I hope I'm pronouncing these right. I've got a Rodney Harrison. I've got a Brandy Williams. And I've got an Empress Oibiba. <laughs> I checked your channel out as well. I couldn't find any videos on there. Um, you just uploaded other people's videos. So again, I want to thank everyone so for subscribing. Everyone who continues to subscribing and supporting my channel. Um, it's just been a fantastic journey. Thanks for joining me on this journey. It's much, much appreciated. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you're getting value out of these, this content, then make sure you show your support by slapping that subscribe button, dinging that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So I've shout out all the subscribers. So what we'll do is we'll cut to the bloopers, and I'll see you in the next one. If you've got a dog that likes the vacuum, is always hanging around when you vacuum, then I would try the pet groomer on her or her, him or her. Now, okay, sit, 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 sit. I'll give you some more. Sit, sit, sit. Now, the issue, of, the issue you've got is all the hairs get over your carpets, over your couch, and don't forget, we've got that. We've got that. Um, but I'll put the blues at the end, people seem to, seem to like that. Um, but, um, it's, and, um, but that'd be, um, so what we'll do is we'll zoom in and just quickly show you, get the agitation and what we'll do is I'll quickly jump in. So, um, um, so, so um, 